The first two books I'm going to be using are Romeo and Juliet and The Scarlet Letter. For Romeo and Juliet, the color is red and yellow. It has a rose, so I guess we can use this rose here. So once I decide the location where I'm going to take the picture, I just play around with the books until I like the way they look. You can put them on top of each other, right next to each other, just as long as it looks nice. Finally, I try to put the dried flowers. They have become one of my favorite props for all the bookstore brand pictures that I have taken. And I also try to play around with the rose, but then I decided to go with the petals because it looked a little bit nicer. Another background I like using is this white sheet from my bed. It simply looks nice just with the white sheet or you can also fix it really nice. Another way is you can remove all the things and just put the coffee. Alright, so the first thing that I do is I make sure to connect my camera to my smartphone using the Wi-Fi. Once my camera is connected to my smartphone using the Wi-Fi, I use this app called Camera Connect. I click on images on camera. Once you click on that, it's basically going to show you all the pictures that you have on your camera. And what I do is just make sure to send all the pictures to my camera roll. Then I go ahead and edit. So I use the Lightroom app to edit all my pictures. There is a bunch of presets that you can download from Pinterest for free or sometimes they are for like $5. The presets I like using are warm yellow tones so it can look the same as my other pictures from Bookstagram. My pictures I like using this cool preset. After choosing the preset, I click on the color and the effects. So for the color mix, we are working with red and yellow tones just so it can match the colors of the picture. So I work with the hue, the saturation, and the luminance, and I just play around and move, move it around until I like the way the picture looks. Once it is saved, I go to a different app called Kuni Cam. I think that's how you pronounce it, Kuni, Kuni, I'm not sure. So I click on the picture that I just edited on Lightroom and I click on dust and basically just go through different dust sections and I'm going to be using the D, which one do I use? Let's see. Once that is done, I go to Visco and I edit the same picture that I added dust to. Visco, I add 4.2 of green so it can look a little bit vintage. And then I save it to my camera roll. Last, I go on the plan app where I like planning my posts for the day and to check to see if the picture that I just edited matches the rest of my bookstagram and my aesthetic. And there you have it, the final result of this picture.
with this picture I am now in the Lightroom app and I am gonna be using the same preset which is cool I named this preset that's not really its name so if you are trying to look for it online I'm sorry and then I press the light button which has the exposure the contrast and the highlights for this picture I added a little bit of exposure because I do want it to look a little bit brighter and I lowered it down on the highlights just because I already added some exposure. For the color mix, it has the hue, saturation, and the luminance. I will try to explain the hue, the saturation, and the luminance on this video as much as possible so you guys can have an idea what the color mix is really about. But for this picture, I just played around with the red tone, the yellow tone, the orange tone because those are the colors that I see on the picture and I just want it to look a little bit brighter. So I save the photo and then I go to the next app which, which is Cooney and I add a little bit of dust depending on how you really want your picture. Once that is done, I save it and I go to the plan app where I will be planning the, picture, the next picture, the next post, and I write my caption and it's ready to be uploaded the next day. For the next couple of pictures, I'm going to be showing you guys some examples of how I take pictures outside, showing plants. And this basket. As I mentioned already that I do use the preset called cool which is kind of like a warm tone so once I click on the cool preset I go ahead and play with the color and I bring the temperature down just a little bit the reason I bring the temperature down is so it won't look too yellow and then I go ahead and play with the color mix I use the colors green red and yellow I don't add any exposure to this picture because it is an outside picture and there's enough light. But since the basket is brown, I want it to look a little bit more browner. So I play with the yellow color mix and the orange color mix. The saturation, I increase it so it can look a bit warmer. And for the plants, I use the green color so the plants can look more natural and green.
guys that is all for today thank you so much for watching this video i hope this was helpful for you guys and inspirational on how to take bookstagram pictures bye